unfold. You gotta let it unfold. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna let it simmer. But let, let it be known that this is a, a matter of great personal pride for Jazz. Jazz already leaning forward with the most serious face possible. Let's see if he can pull this out the way he thinks he can. Running all the way through his shield. All right, right now Jazz getting boxed out by that powerful star. The double up air. Catch 22 right here. Man, getting sent so high up at 18%, kind of scary for Jash. He definitely just wants to chill back on the stage and get away from all these oh. up airs. There we go. That's a way to start it. What, is, what even is this matchup? Like, I got Toon Link versus Rosalina. I haven't seen this too often at the Zeno series. To be honest with you, if you ask me, I personally think that this matchup is only like 55 in favor of, uh, of Rosalina. Yeah. I don't think it's that bad because the problem with, with her... Is the down, the down B. No, no, no. The problem with Rosa using the down B is, is that Toon Link is so frame savvy with his projectiles that by the time he tosses it, he's already behind it. Yeah. So if you want to use it, you're going to get, you might get hit with a sword while you're trying to worry about the projectile. And not to mention, if you drag, if uh, DeBuzz were to drag in the bombs, that could be devastating for him if it's timed just right. Exactly. He lets it cook a little bit in his hands. He throws at him. It kind of defeats the down B's uh, answer for Speaking him. Speaking of cooking it, right now the game plan that Jash is cooking up is, is smelling real good in that pot. He's got the buzz at 93%, Josh only at 57 Of course, the, na the dangerous nature of the buzz entails that you can lose your stock at any percent. But at the very least, you can funnel what you think he wants to do based on that. But if you're at like 120, he's going to hit you with anything he wants. Yeah. So Josh, once again, pulling out that bomb, trying to throw something against the buzz, but the buzz just throwing out a back air of his own. Man, I'm like... Oh. That, that good cow off. That was a good call from the Buzz. One thing I've liked from the Buzz lately that he's been doing at tournaments is he the tag he puts on himself. Like it says, try right there. He always gives like some sort of like message for him to always constantly remember what he needs to do in the game in order to secure victory. I, honestly, I love that man. I, lo yeah. I love him like giving himself messages to read and match. Yeah. Like the other one, there's one one time he put focus. The other time he he put don't flow chart. Yeah, like don't it, autopilot. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, and autopilot. He goes for so many of those, and it, it seems to be working out. But actually, this is a pretty even game. Josh does have a slightly. If he didn't hit him with that down tilt there, that would have been death. Yeah, that would have been a jump to forward air. Did you see him like try to drag Luma back into no. Josh, and Josh just moves forward to get away from Luma and approach to Buzz. Oh no! Watch your feet, Josh. Uh, up tilt from Luma. The Buzz was such a smart defense. I love the fact that he was getting worked the whole round, and then still manages to take that first stop. Just shows that composure of players at his level. I'm surprised he didn't go for a back air against Luma. That was like the prime I spot for him to land it. I think that's just the tone of this day. No one's going to go after Luma. Nick C didn't do it. Yeah. He's not doing it. But that was like the most opportune time to do it. But like, that's the point. <laughs> exactly. And the fact that they're still not doing it means like they, they're just really fixated on the buzz. They don't care about his, his, his little companion. I guess so. So you got that bomb going there. Just oh, hits keep, himself with it. Keeping that shield pressure on with the bomb. <gasps> oh! Uh, but the coverage from so Jash. Much. That Dude, was so nerve-wracking for Jash. covered so many options with all those attacks. Jesus Christ. I know that was nerve-wracking for him because you don't get openings like that against a, a player like the Buzz very often at all. So for him to have <gasps> that up air almost closing out the game. If the Buzz had any amount of rage, even like 40% worth, because it starts at around 30, I feel like the buzz would have been thinking about uh, what states to ban at this point. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, those it's just item tricks from yeah, Jash. Just constantly throwing it and catching it over and over. And thus again, we're seeing them throw these slow bombs. Retreating with that forwarder. The buzz managing to pull the most thorough mid-match um, adaptation that I've seen in quite a while. But this guy's not giving up quite yet. Up smash to up air to up air. Using those active frames to keep the buzz on top. That was so smart what? of Jash avoiding that attack with a, by just jumping up and throwing a down air, stalling his time in the air. Clever little dude. I see him putting applying this pressure. Again. Once again, he went for it again. Throwing that down. That's so risky of him to do because if he does, if he does, oh no, almost that was it. it. That was that almost was literally it. it. He had the bombo. It was right there. That it almost worked out. It just cuts right through the dress. Where is her hurt box? Like it's not where her dress was at. Because he swiped right through the dress. He swiped right through it. And, and he I just, said, Sakurai, you're not done. Get back in the lab. Come, comes off almost unscathed. We see Jash off stage, trying to get back onto the stage. Oh. Uses the bomb. We see Luma just throwing out attacks. He's trying to get something going against the buzz. Jash, he's got to find a way to do this without dying. Clipping her. Clipper. Oh, Gets no. Gets hit by the up smash from Luma. The buzz closes out that first game. Kind of stressfully, if I might add. Kind of stressfully. The buzz. 
got, this was kind of a roller coaster match because the bus started getting worked, then he turned it around, and then he was almost dropping the, the comeback again, and then he pulled it off in the end. So it went through like the tug of war was just like exchanging from side to side several times throughout this match. It's insane. It's once again it's that tug of war. That Josh was literally a move away from landing that first kill. He was I mean, that, so that, that first close game. to that forward air. Let's see if he doesn't let that dishearten him a little bit and try to give it another shot, give it a whole another go. He, obviously, it was Smashville's. It wasn't Smashville's fault. He came back here. Something was working out for him. Oh, that was cute. I'm trick from Jazz trying to disorient his, his opponent there. He's like, hey guys, look at this new trick I just found out. <laughs> throws the bomb forward, throws the bomb backwards. Nothing happens. Yep, it's all part of the plan. Nice there there from Jazz. Yeah. Good, good defense from the buzz there. See, I want all of it. I want all of it. Greedy see, the buzz. See, Dream Team to buzz just like hitting all these projectiles, just disintegrating every single one of them. <laughs> I right. see him throwing Jack out his down airs. Yeah, Jazz is going to take take to that platform uh, to arm himself up a bit. See him throwing these bombs over and over. Gets the nice conversion that he wants from that dash deck. Applying all this offstage pressure against Jazz. Jazz barely oh no. doesn't get back. What happened to the bomb? He makes the wrong call on the up B. Did he throw the bomb away? I thought he had a bomb. Uh, no, he, he did not. <laughs> I mean, that, that huge combo he just did against DeBuzz's shield just destroyed Luma. Despite the, the, uh, the hopeful nature of game one, this the buzz match is sitting at 19%. Polar opposite conclusion right now. This is looking like it's kind of a wrap-up. I got to see Jazz pull out a big play here because making the match go hit to hit, just, it just draws out the, the defeat. Yeah. You know what I mean? He has to make something huge happen. And DeBuzz definitely wants trades right now if he gets them. Cause exactly. Like, it's in his favor. Tries to get some early gimp action against Jazz, but DeBuzz just kind of gets out of there with an up B of his own. Getting hit by down smash. Pegging Luma from afar. So once again, throwing them bombs, trying to get something going against the buzz. All right, the Luma's going to be out of play for See a few up. seconds. I, I like the, uh, the, uh, the option that Josh opted to go for there. He went for a short hop aerial instead of trying to go for an up smash. Yeah, because the up I, smash is so, it just keeps you so grounded. Yeah. And the buzz is really good at catching uh, punishes that he needs. Yeah. And Josh knows that. So he's going to play mad safe. The boomerang coming back, just kind of nicking Luma on the way back. Just a little bit more damage. Wow, DeBuzz just shooting far from Luma home. shot. Rare, a rare appearance of fully charged Luma shot from DeBuzz. Oh, I thought that was gonna be an up smash. That kind of that that jab was so like tricky because it just brought Jash right in front of DeBuzz. That dash attack just saving him right in time. DeBuzz looking like a swan. Just, yeah, just so gracefully uh, um, defending the stage here. Wow, DeBuzz did not give him anything. He was just holding nope. shield. I, I, like I dare you to grab me. Yeah, Josh definitely wanted some sort of defensive reaction from DeBuzz. And DeBuzz was just like, nah, you can't do anything to my shield. What are you going to do? Grab me with your hook shot? The yeah. other grab? He wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't scared. <laughs> try, I thought he was going to go. Oh, the try pivot, to get the pivot guy. That would have gotten the kill yeah. probably with that much damage and that much rage. That back throw would have probably sealed the deal. Yep, just more. hold down, hold down shield. The buzz has no reason to not to shield. Press some more projectiles. And because shield regenerates fully in about two seconds. But then runs into uh, the up smash from DeBuzz. DeBuzz closing out that set with a two stock. Was such a scary first game, but then DeBuzz adapted, showing what he knows what, that he knows what he's doing. Yeah, no, uh, that was super impressive from DeBuzz. Taking hold of that uh, deficit, not after the first game, but within the first game. <laughs> so we see... Uh,